What's up, family and friends? This is your girl, Charlene, out here in these blue skies and sunshine. Me and Scoop Doo, we out here getting our little morning walk on. And I thought I'd just say good morning to y'all. See how your day was going. Let you know that God loves you. And no matter what's going on, God is still in control. I'm going to enjoy my day. Today is Monday. I'm still laid off of work. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I don't have much going on today. But one thing I am determined that it's going to be a blessed day. I don't care what's going on. I don't care what this world is facing. I'm going to have a blessed day because this is the day that the Lord has made and I will rejoice and be glad in it because he didn't have to give me another day. He didn't have to give you another day, but he loved us enough that he gave us another day and another chance. And we don't understand how valuable another day is another chance is and we should because so many people are dying around us this covid is still around and is killing people left and right so if god gave you another day another chance you better enjoy your day you better open up your mouth and say Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Because we don't deserve it. We should have been dead a long time ago. But because of God's grace, mercy, and his love, he continues to give us another chance. I know it's a lot going on in your life. It's a lot going on in my life that I'm trying to figure out and understand and don't know what to do with it. But while I'm letting God figure it out, I'm going to enjoy my day. I'm going to keep a smile on my face. And I ain't going to let nobody or nothing steal my joy. And that's how you have to be. I don't care what's going on. Don't let nobody steal your joy, your happiness, your peace. And if you're around people that's trying to steal it, maybe it's time to change Maybe it's time to change the people you are around. If you are in some dead situations with some dead people and you got deadness all around you, maybe it's time to get up and try something new. That's what I did when I moved to California. And baby, it's been a wonderful thing. It ain't all been easy but it has been worth it and if you were if you in some dead situations like i was a change a change is what you need a change of scenery a change of people sometimes you just got to get by yourself so you can get what god has for you and when i moved to california that's exactly what i did i got by myself most of the time i spend a lot of time me myself and god and it has helped me it has strengthened me. It has made me stronger, made me more happier. I got more peace, more joy. I've got more self-control. God knew what he was doing when he sent me here to California. He knew what I needed when I came here. I needed to leave all of that stuff back in Michigan that was going on and that I didn't know what to do with it. I let go, I let God, I tried something new and baby, he has not let me down. And I promise you, if you get out and if you get to walking, mm -mm, God will open up some doors and show you some stuff you never thought possible. Man, I would have never thought of me being here in California, 
doing what I'm doing. But when I decided to step out on faith and give it to God, baby, he truly opened up some doors. Y'all be patient with me. I'm doing my doggy duty while I'm out here talking. Scooter didn't had a poo-poo. So, you know, I got to clean it up, keep the place clean. But if you going to get what God has for you in this life, you got to get up and get moving. You can't wait to have everything figured out because guess what? You're never going to have everything figured out. It's always going to be something that tell you you can't do it. It's always going to be something that's trying to come against you. But in the name of Jesus, you get up, you get walking, you get to trust in God, you get to thank in him. And before you know it, you'll be like, man, look how far I come. Look at all the happiness and joy that God provided when I got up and got moving. You got to do your part first. God is also always faithful to do his part, but you got to get up and do your part. You got to start walking. You got to start trusting. And you just got to put, put, put control in God because he's in control anyway. So just give it to him and he'll work it out. So I hope this blessed your day. I hope this inspired you not to give up, to keep fighting, to, to know that God still has a plan and a purpose for your life. Yes, God loves you. And I don't care if you're 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. If you're close to 100, if God's still waking you up, he still has a purpose for your life. So listen, y'all. You know I say the same thing. Leave me a comment. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, subscribe. And most importantly, share it so you can bless somebody else so that they know that they can keep fighting, that they don't have to give up, that even though things are a little crazy right now, if you keep walking, if you keep trusting, if you keep praying, things will get better. So look, you see I'm a little sweaty. It's hot out here, but it's okay. I love the heat. I take the heat over the snow any day. But look, this is the day the Lord has made. So rejoice, be glad in it, be thankful, be grateful, and just keep praying and trusting God. And just like me, you'll get there. It's a work in progress, but as long as you keep going, you will get there. In whose name? In Jesus' name. In whose name? In Jesus' name. All right, y'all. I love you. You have a blessed day. Make it a good one. All right. Love y'all.